boys and girls, we are in the My Math third grade. We're going to start on page 22, and we're using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbols to help us solve these problems. So compare 751, 715. I'm going to put this number underneath here and stack it in the hundreds, tens, and ones, and compare the hundreds. Compare the 10, the five is greater, so I'm gonna say this is greater than this, okay? I want you to try these on your own. Remember to stack them. Best you can, so you can compare, compare, compare. <gasps> Those are the same, so try these others on your own. Let's go down to number nine. Circle the number that is greater and then complete the statement. So we're going to stack these, 3, 3, 3, 2. Now 3 and 3 are the same, the same. 2 is less, so this one's greater, so I'm going to put 3, 3, 3, 2 is greater than 3, 3, 2, 2. The 3,332 is greater than 3,322. How about these numbers? 1,000, 1,000, those are the same. 800, 700, 800 is greater. That's easy, we could just drop this right down here. 1,000, I almost forgot those commas. 877 is greater than 1,788. And this one here, 2,727, 2,772. 2,000, 2,000, 700, 700, 20, 70. 70 is greater. So we're gonna say 2,700, 72, 72 is greater, 2,727. Now, oh, I forgot to circle. Circle the number that's greater. So this one was greater, this one was greater, and this one was greater. Good thing I checked. Now circle the number that is less. So now we're doing the opposite. 5,642, 5,426. So five and five are the same. Six and four, four is less. So this one's gonna go here. 5,426 is less than 5,642. Let's try this one. The one that's less, we're gonna circle. 4,000, 4,000. No hundreds, they both, neither of them have hundreds. This one has 110 and this one has 710. So this one is less, 4,000. 17 is less than 4,071. Now let's look at these, which one's less? 6,000, 6,000, those are the same. 300, 200. This one is less because it has 200s and this one has 300s. 6,231 is less than 6,310. Okay, number five. Start 15, use symbols. Last year there were 191 sunny days and 174 cloudy days. Were there more sunny or cloudy days last year? Compare using less than, greater than, or equal to. So 191, 174, I'm gonna compare. And this one is greater. So I'm going to say sunny days were greater then cloudy days. Or I could put 191 is greater than 174. Okay. Which number is greater than 3,491? So we're going to compare these numbers to this number. 3,000, this one has 3, 3, 3, 3. So those are all the same. 400, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. They all have the same hundreds. Now let's look at the tens place. 190, this one's, sorry, 110 and then nine tens, 90 and 10. So this one's less, we're looking for greater. Here are nine tens, this one's 19, so it's the same. Nine tens, nine tens, that's the same. Nine tens, nine tens, that's the same. Let's go to the ones place. We're looking for the number that's greater. One, this one also has a one. These are equal, so that can't be it. They're not, it's not greater, it's equal. This one has a zero. Zero is less than one. So that one is not greater. So we know this is it. Let's compare. Three, three, four, four. 
nine, nine, one and a one, nine, sorry, one and a nine, nine is greater. All right, we're going to order numbers. Comparing numbers helps you order them or put them in the right order. How can numbers be expressed, ordered, and compared? The average length of whales, orca whale, and the length is in inches, 264 inches. A blue whale, 1,128 inches. Humpback whale, 744 inches. Example one, the Odell family went on a whale watching trip. They learned about different whales. The table shows the lengths of three whales. Here's the table. Order the lengths from least, that means the smallest, to greatest, which is the biggest. Use a place value chart. Line up the numbers by their place value from the right, compare from the left. So we line them up just like this, and then when you compare it, you look at the thousands first, hundreds, tens, and ones. Another way to compare would be to use a number line. In the number line, we have 200, because the orca whale was 264. We have the 700, because because the humpback whale was 744, and 1,100 because the blue whale was 1,128. So we have them in order here. So we have 264 is less than 744, less than 1,128. The order from least to greatest is 264 inches, the next would be 744 inches, and the greatest, because least to greatest, the greatest would be the last one, 1,128 inches. I feel like this number line really helps visualize the order of those numbers. All right, I want you to try to do example two all on your own, just how we did example one guided practice. Let's do this together. Order the numbers from least to greatest. We have 39, 68, 32. We're looking for the least. So 3 and 3, those are smaller. 9 and 2 is the smallest. So 32 is smallest. 32. Next would be 39. And the greatest is 68. And this Next one, remember we're looking least, so we're looking for the smallest to greatest. 2,000, that's very big, so this one is not the least. Then we have two hundreds, two hundreds, zero tens, this one has two tens, so this one is gonna be smaller, so that's the least, 202, no tens. This one has two tens, so it's a little bit bigger, but remember this one has 2,000, so it's the biggest. 2,202, that would be the greatest number. Page 23, order these numbers from least to greatest. I want you to do three, five, and seven on your own. And let's work on number four together. Sorry, order the numbers from greatest to least. I might've read that wrong. Greatest, so we're looking for the biggest number now. So I have 4,404, 4,044, and 4,040. So I'm gonna stack these numbers because that helps me. Four, four, zero, four. That's this one. This one is four, zero, four, four. And this one is four, zero, four, zero. Four, zero, four, zero. 4,040. Okay, so we're looking for the greatest. Fours, they're all the same. This one has a four in the hundreds. This one doesn't have any hundreds, and this one doesn't have hundreds. So this is the greatest. I'm gonna circle that one, put it here. I'm gonna cross it off, because I know I already done that one. Now, let's look at these two. No hundreds, they both have four tens, and this one has four ones, but this one doesn't have any ones. So this one is greater. So the next one would be four, zero, four, four. And the last one is 4,040. It really helps to stack them. Let's try this. Two, six, seven, three, two, seven, eight, seven, 
2787 and 2900. 2900. So let's look at the thousands place. They all have twos. Hundred, six, seven, and nine. Nine is the greatest. So 2900, that's the greatest. Cross that off because I did that one. Now let's look at these two. 2007, 2006. Seven is bigger. So 2,787 is the next greatest. And the smallest is 2,000, or the least, sorry, 2,673. Okay. Let's look at number eight. Cars for sale. This one is 6,342. This one is 7,851. And this one is 7,585. Order the numbers from greatest to least. So which one costs the most? Let's line these up. So we have 6,342. And then we have this one here is 7,851. And this one is 7,585. Let's look at the thousands, please. This one here is 7,000, this one's seven. So these are both greater than this. This one we know is our smallest number because it has the least thousands. Now let's compare these two. 7,800, 800 is greater than 500. So I know 7,851 is the biggest. So I got that one. Now I know 7,000 is greater than 6,000. So my next answer is 7,585. And then my next is 6,342. And here they put a semicolon so it doesn't look like a comma. And I forgot to do that up here, my semicolon. So I'm gonna add those semicolons. Semicolons tell you it's an order of numbers. Now we've gotta switch our brains. Now we have to order them from least to greatest. So I want you to do nine, 11, and 13 on your own. I'm going to do 10, 12, and 14 with you. Least means the smallest. So now we're looking for the smaller number. 349, 343, and 560. Let's look at the hundreds, three, three, and five. So these threes are smaller. This is gonna be our greatest, so that's gonna be the last one. This one is a four, this one is a four. So now we're going to the ones place. Nine is greater than three, so this is my least. 343 is the least. Next is 349. And semicolon. Last, the greatest number, 560. The greatest number of these. Now this, 999, 1,342, and 2,000. So let's line those up. 1,342, 1, 3, 4, 2, and 2,000. 2, 0, 0, 0. Let's look at the thousands place. One is in the thousand, this one has a two. This is the greatest, so it's gonna go last. This one has a thousand, this one doesn't have any thousands, so that's the smallest number in this order. Nine, 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 semicolon. Then the 1,000 is smaller, so this is 1,342, semicolon, 2,000. That's the greatest, so it goes from least to greatest, smallest number to bigger number. And number 14, the number of students at these schools this school has 2,536, this school has 3,002, and this school has 2,500. And we're gonna order them from least to greatest, so the smallest school. So I'm gonna line these up. 2,536, 3,002, 2,500. Let's look at the thousands, please. And I'm looking for the least, the smallest, so two, three, two. So three is the biggest. So I already know that's the biggest number. Now this has 2,000, this has 2,000. Those are the same. This has 500, this has 500, the same. And this has three and this has zero. Zero is less. So 2,500 is the least, semicolon. Now 2,536 is in the middle. 2,536, semicolon. And our Biggest number, the greatest, is 3,002. Very good.